What is going on you guys? I hope you're all having an embraceful day. Today's gonna be like a mix of everything. This is gonna be some carbon fiber work. There might be some fiberglass work. Um, some bondo work. What I do want to start working on is gonna be these front bumper cover pieces because this is something that I really want to get done. Especially since I have a three day weekend coming up. I want to get those pieces finished out. So I got one piece of the bumper cover completely done as for just body work what seems like it's gonna be done uh, I think by today we might be able to get a set of primer onto here the other one's still drying but we're almost done with that one as well uh, but this one looks like it's almost completely done I mean once I put the primer I'll be able to see any pinholes or anything like that but that the pinholes are gonna be a lot easier to fill in so we got there we got the side as you guys can tell so i just finished editing the video it's currently exporting right now and it's still pretty early so i decided why not it's completely dry these pieces right here uh before i stop working on them so i get at least one more sand out of them if not i mean i think i'm just going to continue working on them see how far i get with them i'll just turn on the furnace just to help with the drying time and maybe we'll still be able to get them painted today not painted but primer So I got this front bumper cover all completely done. Well, not done, I mean, it's primered. Um, I mean, as you guys can tell, it looks kind of textured. I'm thinking it's because of the cold. I mean, I don't think the heater is doing enough justice for me bringing it to the cold, then to the heater. So it might be causing these little, like, um, texture type things you guys can see right there so i'm probably just gonna call it quits right now sand it in the morning a light sand or yeah it's gonna be like a light sand and then i'll just repaint it again with a primer the white primer so it's the next morning and as you guys can tell this one is you can see the texture a lot more now and you can actually hear it too watch you can hear it with my hand right over it look at this one this one's super smooth this one's a lot rougher so we're gonna have to go sand this one down and this one we're gonna have to i mean get the first layer of primer onto here it's still a little cold out but i'll probably be using the patio heater again so after i lightly sanded this from bumper cover it looks a lot better a lot smoother all the roughness went away but i want to try this guide coat this guide coat is supposed to help with things that i can't see see if there's scratches or anything like that so this is my first time using it it's from eastwood i'm gonna give it a try i'm gonna see if it works out for me uh see what i can improve on and stuff like that i always like to see like new things out there that will help me do these kinds of projects so let's give it a try you just have to go light on it so. i'm just gonna wait for this to dry completely dry and then we're gonna start sanding it what it's supposed to do is since it was a white primer base when you sand it all off it's all gonna be white again but there's gonna be like some black spots pointing out the pinholes and pointing out the scratches which is gonna make it a lot easier to know what areas you have to fix what areas you have to fill in and stuff like that So as you guys are able to tell a little bit, it should look something like that. All the low spots, as you can tell right there, it's all black. But I'll show you guys a little bit right there. You can see them right there. And you can see a couple of them right there. See all the black little pinholes. Um, some of the bondo was a little bit like soft, so I ended up like engraving it off. You can probably tell right there. There's a big old pinhole right there. Uh, because I mean it was soft so I just punctured it out uh, there's some more uh, right here focuses along those edges right there black spots mm, on this side some black spots right there 
right there and down here but I mean from doing all the bodywork myself there isn't that many pinholes on this piece right here uh, I don't know about the other piece I haven't got started on it but I mean this piece I can probably take it to like a body shop and tell them to finish it off for me since it is just a small little pinholes they probably won't charge me as much but I'm pretty stoked and pretty happy that this piece is almost done <sighs> it's been a long time been a long time coming So I got both of them, both bumper covers completely painted. This one I just sprayed uh, what I had left of the can. It, there's still some, like, uh, whatchamacallit. There's still some spots that I didn't get enough spray on. But I mean, it doesn't really matter because this is still going to go to the body shop. There's still small little pinholes that I want them to take care of. There's not that much work that they need to do because of everything that I did do. I think this one came out a lot more perfect than the other one. Uh, there's less pinholes on this one. I think the only ones that there are like you're not even gonna be able to tell because it's like super bright because of the white so these two are completely done since this one's still drying I want to mock up that one onto the bumper but the last thing I do want to do today is we'll mock up that onto the bumper and we're gonna be taking off this carbon fiber piece I know it's sadly I do have to take it off the reason for that is because I keep on having problems with it lifting up right here as you guys can tell right there it lifts up um, and I keep on having the same same problem so I'm gonna take this off the whole bumper is gonna be taken to the body shop so they can do all that work but that needs filling right here right here it keeps on cracking as well the one where I repaired this piece right here it keeps on cracking so I want them to repair that professionally and of course fill in all these holes that I used when I was making the bumper covers fit onto the bumper uh, what else when I if you guys watched the video where I wrapped my car in Christmas paper this is without even a lip. I had repaired all the front right here. I mean, not all the front, all the bottom. All the bottom was repaired because it, it was all scraped up and now it got all scraped up again. So that's kind of like the reason why I'm not gonna be putting the lip onto the car until I get air suspension because, I mean, look at that. It's already all messed up already. And then right here, it cracked all this bundle right here. The reason there's bundle right here, if you guys are new to the channel, is because when I tried blending in the carbon fiber onto the bumper, I used a decent amount of bundle right here, but since I scraped right here, I guess I hit something and all this is starting to chip. So that's another reason why I'm taking off the carbon fiber so there's no bundle right here. There's nothing that's going to crack in whatnot. So I'm going to get this taken off. Oh, you know what? Let's mount the rocket bunny bumper cover on here first and then we'll start taking all that off damn that's gonna look so sick i am so happy how this piece turned out i think this piece is one of my most proudest pieces that i've done since this was almost like completely done from scratch not scratch but i mean i had this whole piece i cut it up and i made it fit onto the bumper exactly perfectly right here there's a small little gap because these screws are not pushed in all the way because i don't want to ruin the primer and it is going to have the rubber lining right here all around the edges on the whole entire kit that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do for now I'm, I might change my mind but I think that's what I'm how I'm gonna be going I mean just damn fitment is on point look at that look at how smooth the edges are damn it looks so good look how wide dude it's gonna look so sick So I finally got it all taken off as you can tell it looks super ugly super nasty and it took a really long time everything that was here in the middle right here was like super like stuck to the bumper so that was a little bit harder but all the edges were pretty easy they're all right there all on the floor so now that we got this off now we gotta I mean there's still a little bit more bundle that's pretty thick that I gotta remove as well so I'm gonna try and sand all this off try to get it as clean as possible so when I take it to the shop they don't have that much work to do that way they don't have that much to charge me for so i just got done sanding this whole entire piece as best as i could um i mean i'm not gonna go super in depth with it since i am gonna be taken to the shop i'd rather just pay them to get the whole entire bumper like perfectly pristine condition at least semi pristine condition uh, as you guys know right here it was cracked down the middle where it was it was cracked right here as well 
Um, so right here, I know this is never going to be perfect since I am going to be wrapping it. You'll probably see an imperfection. So I'll probably end up doing like a badge right here or something like that. It does have the badge, the Kaminari, no, what is it, the Ken style. It does have the Ken style badge that goes right here. But I'm going to be putting my own badge onto here, something else, something different. That way it covers up this piece that's right here. But, I mean, this piece will get vinyl wrapped over it. Um, just... I mean, I can vinyl wrap over this. Once the car is painted, I have to give it at least four months until the paint completely adheres to the bumper. So we're gonna have to wait on that when we do vinyl wrap this piece. But, I mean, nonetheless, I mean, it turned out okay, I guess. Uh, right here as well, the gas cap, I'm mean, not the gas cap, the bumper cap where the tow hook goes, it's starting to kind of like, see if it focuses right here you can kind of see the little cracks right here so starting to crack right here as well so I'm gonna probably mention it to them that way they can see what they can do to fix that if not I mean it's gonna have to suck if I do have to get another bumper and have to untake the R3 bumper lip off since it is like uh, epoxied onto there it's gonna make it a little bit difficult if not I might have to hit the junkyards and try and find another RS3 lip or if anyone has one for sale let me know uh, I'll probably be I'll probably pick it up and buy another bumper and have that as a spare but I mean for now I think that's where I'm gonna end today's video we got a lot of progress done today especially on those bumper covers I'm super excited that I got those bumper covers done in two days these last two days and I can finally move forward from that so once I get those back from the body shop we'll be doing the lip most likely and then we'll move on to the side skirts trying to fit the side skirts with the front fender flares because it's gonna be a little bit uh, I gotta do some more fiberglass work, I'm pretty sure. And the rear, rear the rear fender flares, all I have to do is those notches because I'm gonna do them exactly how I did the front bumper cover. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching, guys. Thank you guys for your guys' support, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, and embrace yourself.